Good day everyone. It is nice to see you again. Welcome to our any learning as our learning community. Lesson 2. The Incident Command System. Mass Casualty Incident. Any time an incident or disease occurs that leaves many people ill or injured, can be caused by natural, for instance, earthquakes, floods, or accidental or intentional disasters, terrorist attacks, sarin gas release. Classification of Mass Casualty Incidents. 1. Level 1. It involves more than 100 patients. 2. Level 2. It involves greater than 50, but not more than 100 patients. 3. Level 3. If greater than 25, but not more than 50. 4. Level 4. If greater than 10, but not more than 25. 5. Level 5. An incident involving no more than 10 patients. Casualties flow to the hospital. Casualties flow consists typically of three waves. 1. The first wave, shortly after the event, includes casualties usually with minor injuries who evacuate themselves or are brought in by bystanders without previous triage. This wave arrives while the medical facility is still getting organized and most of the casualties arrive in the hospital closest to the scene. This wave can overwhelm any hospital and can practically block its emergency facilities. 2. The second wave consists of casualties with more serious injuries, which were triggered at the scene, may have required extrication, and received initial treatment, and were evacuated by emergency medical services transportation. And 3. The third wave consists of casualties with more minor injuries and of patients with emotional stress. This wave can persist for several hours to days after the initial event. Casualties flow within the hospital. Rapid, unobstructed casualties flow within the hospital is crucial. Factors to be considered are the hospital layout, potential bottlenecks, and the number of available trauma teams, operating rooms, and hospital beds. The basic principle is a one-way forward flow from the triage area into the final admitting ward. Therefore, patients proceed in their management track only forward, with no possibility of backtracking. Backtracking or slow flow through the emergency department, while casualty influx continues can have chaotic consequences. In a summary, hospital and emergency department emergency management is an essential aspect of modern healthcare. The emergency management activity must be directed by a multidisciplinary group that is central to all activities and reports directly to hospital administrative and medical leadership. This planning effort must focus on all phases of disasters, mitigation, preparedness, response, and recovery. These activities must be based on an all-hazards approach to ensure preparedness for disasters, terrorism events, and public health emergencies. Lastly, these efforts must be inclusive of entire populations and ensure the hospital is able to continue to function during any event to serve its critical resource in the community and serve the entire population. Kindly click the next button for part 4. Thank you for listening. Have a good day and be safe. Agyamanak.